Hi, this is Keith Sorm of Sorm & Associates at Keller Williams Real Estate. This is the real estate market report for South Pasadena, California. The first thing we're going to look at are condominiums and townhomes. This is actually a very small part of the uh, South Pasadena market, but we're going to look at it because they're worth a lot of money. We had eight new listings come on the market during the month of May compared to only four in April, but down from 11 last year. Um, only 38% of those listings actually received accepted offers. Compared to April, over 175% received accepted offers. And that's compared to 70% last year. So one of the questions we're asking ourselves is why would the percentage of homes on the market fail to receive offers? Well, let's look at volume. Look at what people are paying. Uh, the median sale price, the point where half the homes sell for more and half sell for less, 521000 That's down from six twenty. Now remember, when you only have eight, ten properties being sold, one or two properties that are big or small are going to have a big effect on these averages. A year ago, it was 550000 So the actual median price declined slightly. So one of the questions would be, are values really going down? I don't think so. The other way we measure value is the average sale price per square foot. This is a very good tool for condominiums. The average sale price per square foot was $451 in May, up from $419 in April, and up from $444 last year. So I would say the market's probably stable. As I say, the sale of one or two either inexpensive or luxury items can really throw off the averages. In terms of market inventory, there's just not a lot for sale. Uh, typically, if we have five to six months of inventory, that's average. So if we have 100 homes, we sell 20 a month, that'd be five months. Um, right now, we have 1.2 months of inventory. That's down from 2.7 months a year ago. So obviously, if there's less supply, prices should be going up. The good news for those thinking of buying a condo or a townhome in South Pasadena is that interest rates are at historic lows because the economy is not doing well. Now let's look at single family homes. Single family homes play a little bit bigger market, although South Pasadena as a whole is a smaller market, sort of like uh, La Crescenta perhaps. 15 new listings came on the market. That's up from 11 in April, but down from 17 last year. Uh, in terms of pending ratio, the ratio is 60% this month. That's down from 100% last month, but up from 53% a year ago. Units sold, we had three listings that sold. Now that is kind of odd and it's a concern, only three listings sold. Uh, last month, 16 sold, so maybe that averages out. And a year ago, 13 sold, which would be about right. Now the next thing we look at are values. The average, pardon me, the median sale price that's the price where half the homes sell for more, half the homes sell for less, 806000 That's a lot of money. And that's up from seven fifty five in April. And that's also up from seven forty five a year ago. So we're looking at a year-on-year -year increase of 8%. Hey, that's not bad. We consider the average expected year-on-year -year appreciation 3 to 4%, so it's about twice average. Uh, average sale price per square foot. Uh, it's a little bit less applicable in South Pasadena because you don't have a lot of tract housing. The homes, individual living areas and lot sizes vary a great deal. You're looking at um, $493 a square foot, up from $485 a month ago, and up from $464 a year ago. Again, a 6% uh, year-on-year increase. So uh, I would say South Pasadena is a very healthy market with the exception I'm a little concerned about the drop in the pending ratio and actually the number of homes sold. Now, listing inventory is a big part of how all this works. We are a commodity business, supply and demand. Normally, inventory is about five to six months. If we have 100 homes, we sell 20 a month, that's five months inventory. So right now we have 2.1 months. That's up from uh, 1.8 months a year ago. So overall, the market's very stable. It's a great time to sell. Also a very good time to buy. Um, South Pasadena has very, very good schools. And what would make it a good reason to buy is interest rates are low. The overall economy is not doing well. Rates are probably in the low 4% range, which compared to the averages of 6 to 7 to 8%, it's a great time. If you have questions, thinking of selling or buying, give us a call, 888-284-2056. Or see us online at beautiful. Verdugohomes.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.